Civil Art here, back again with another overview. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Ursa Major Build-A-Figure wave. That's right, we finally completed our Ursa Major Build-A-Figure, and now it is time for us to do an overview of the entire wave. Rank my favorite to least favorite. Talk about the pros and cons of the wave. You know the drill. As with every overview video that I make, these are for... A specific part of my audience, maybe the people who don't have all the time in the world to check out my individual reviews of all the figures from a particular way, whether it's Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, Motu Origins, or on rare occasion, Mythic Legions, which we may be doing an overview of one of those waves in the near distant future, so look forward to that, I guess. But if you are interested in seeing an individual review of a particular figure from any wave, of figures that I am doing an overview of. I try, emphasis on try, to leave links to those videos in the description below in the order that I post them. Haven't been really good with that lately, so hopefully I will have the links this time. I gotta go back and put the links on the Wave 4. Is it Wave 4 or Wave 5 of the uh, Motu Urgent still? So, yeah, kinda slipped there, but at any rate, we're not talking about all that. We're talking about the Ursa Major Wave. And I gotta say, for a very iron character heavy wave, this is a pretty decent wave of Marvel Legends, considering the stupid Eternals are still warming the pegs at Target. They haven't even sold the first load yet. Would somebody please just go buy them out so they can get the... What is it? Age of Apocalypse Colossus Wave already? Because that's... I would buy those. That's a pretty decent wave of figures. Or the uh, Armadillo wave, even though it's mostly movie junk that I don't want. Um, yeah, I've been noticing a trend this year. A lot of movie figures, whereas last year was a lot of comic figures. So my top 10 Marvel Legends of last year was a bit easier to do. Now I'm curious if I'll even get to 10, because, well... It ain't that great, but there are a few in this wave that are standouts, and we're going to talk about that. Starting off with the first figure I took a look at from this wave... The Mighty Ultron. This is the best Ultron we've ever gotten at this scale, period. I don't care what the Toy Biz one looked like, whether it was a deranged Easter Bunny with a rip-off Green Goblin glider or not. This is the best one. This has the Kirby Crackle. It's nice and shiny, to a point. It's not the shiniest thing ever, but I don't notice a lot of marbling going on in that figure. My only gripe is I wish the ankle cut thingy-majiggers were, well, not there. Because I think they don't add a lot to the figure, and one of mine's off center, and that drives me nuts. <laughs> oh, sorry, but I have OCD. Deal with it. Other than that, though, I think this is an amazing figure. It is definitely, I think, my number one Marvel Legend of the Year right now. Unless they put out Danny Catch, Ghost Rider, or Sleepwalker, or hell, another Deathlock, as I said in my Urza Major uh, review yesterday. Uh, it'd have to take a character like that to knock this guy off the number one spot, to be perfectly honest with you. He's just damn near perfect if such a thing was humanly possible. Yeah, maybe he could have used some more paint. And, you know, I think he should have had another hand for, what is it, the right arm? An open hand? That would have been nice. Uh, but, you know, you slap this guy on the Star Wars Black Series Snoke or, you know, the Emperor's Throne, and he looks friggin cool as hell so that's definitely my favorite figure of the wave moving on from him though second figure i reviewed from the wave dark star like that old 70s song she is part of the winter guard who we only need titanium man and vanguard to complete at this time crimson dynamo yes but we do have a crimson dynamo bath that works for now i know it's probably not the right one but suits my needs at least but dark star's okay she's super bait she's the weakest figure of the wave okay let's get that out of the way she's the cheapest next to the clear iron man over there because she did have a new head sculpt made she comes with fists comes with some open hands not a whole lot going on with that figure it's a black figure with yellow on it the yellow is actually not too bad on that figure either maybe they uh learned their lesson and finally stopped trying to paint yellow or they're just doing it enough to where it doesn't look like shit so you know I'll give him a point there. That, that's a pretty well done figure outside of the fact that she's got some major lollipop going on in the neck. But after her, we took a look at the Stealth Armor Iron Man, which has a weird powdery 
feeling to him. It's almost like he's dusty, but it's not dust. It's very weird. It's strange. I don't know what it is. I don't care for it. It was also on the um, AIM Scientist Supreme and the, oh, uh, what is it? God Doctor Doom? Doctor God, whatever you want to call that figure. The white hood and cape tunic Doctor Doom from the Zemnu Wave. Both of them also had it, so I don't know if it's just the marbly plastic composition or what, but it's very weird. But that figure is amazing. I love the blue. It's really sharp. Comes with one of the best Tony Stark heads we've ever gotten. And the red blast effects are always nice, too. I, I just really, really dig that figure. Moving on from him, though, we got the Vault Guardsman. That's right. I used to have the Marvel Universe version of that guy who came out in the... I want to say Iron Man 2 line, if I'm not mistaken, it was a movie line, it came with like a very phallic looking blast effect, kind of like the hood figure, although I don't really see it there as I did with that Guardsman figure, it was very, very much, uh, well, in the shape of a chode. So, he doesn't come with any of that, which I think would have been hilarious, but he does come with a little pistol, which he can't hold because he doesn't have trigger fingers. Yeah, um, I thought they learned their lesson with the Walgreens Punisher to give people with guns trigger fingers, but I guess not. But, you know, I just have the fists on them. That's fine with me. It's not the Vault Guardsman I prefer as far as colors go. I like him with uh, the flat black, kind of the jet black, matte black, I guess is a better way to put it, and the super metallic green, almost slime color green. This one's a little bit more modern i think a little bit more streamlined which is fine but i prefer the kind of darker colors for this character it makes him look a little cooler to me but still a decent figure for a kind of rando character and one i'm glad they finally did because it's been a hot minute since we've gotten like a classic kind of gimp iron man villain and is it just me or does his helmet look like uh well underpants <laughs> very funny there uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, malefic spawn i took a look at the other week so that that's kind of funny but moving on from him we have the oh i'm trying to think who's next modular armor iron man which this is my second favorite figure of the wave hands down love that figure looks great ankles suck uh they're too tight they don't need to be that tight they are super duper tight they need to loosen those up if they are to do a retro card re-release with the mustard ketchup paint scheme. I know that's what they're saving that for. I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday. They're going to give us that. They're going to put a mustache on the mullet magneto head, most likely. I mean, they could literally just reuse the hair from that mold. Remember that head? It came with the Marvel Now Magneto, of all things, instead of the, um, the one in the three-pack there, the Family Matters three-pack, or... Family Feud 3-pack, whatever it was called. It was an Amazon exclusive that I actually never got. And now it's expensive as crap, so probably not going to get it. Um, but yeah, we'll probably get a reissue of that guy at some point. But what we got now is fine. I dig it. Maybe his torso could have been a little thicker. Just a tiny bit. But you know what? It's a solid Iron Man. I think it's one of the best Iron Men out there next to the 80th anniversary one. I'm not going to say... The one from the Mr. Hyde wave, the uh, Tony Stark AI, because, well, I just love the metallic gold on the 80th version. I think it's a lot cooler looking, but that's just personal preference. I know the yellow and the more crimson kind of red is more classic. And I'm sure we're going to get that in that uh, Marvel Legends 20th anniversary line. So it's going to be that, Captain America, Hulk, and maybe Toad, which is kind of weird because... Toad seems like he'd be a better fit for just some rando X-Men wave. But what do I know? But moving on from him, we have the hologram armor Iron Man, which is an MCU Iron Man figure that's not trash. I believe that is the Civil War body mold, which is one of the better body molds for a movie Iron Man. In my personal opinion, I think that is the best movie Iron Man mold we've ever gotten. It's nice and thick. It's bulky. Stands tall. Looks badass it's just i don't care about hologram armor iron man it's cool i 
kind of get hungry when I look at him because he looks like a blueberry Jolly Rancher. But other than that, you know, it's it's whatever. It's the cheap repaint of the wave. I would say that's Dark Star, but she does have a new head, and Vault Guardsman does have a new head and torso, and maybe some other parts. But that hologram armor Iron Man, it's cool, but it is a throwaway figure of the wave. If you were going to get rid of any of the figures in this wave, most likely it's going to be that one. So moving on from him, at the final figure of the wave, which I didn't take a look at until this past week. It's been a long time since I'd done any Marvel Legends content, because I did take a break for a while. And then I just did, like, McFarlane stuff, NECA stuff, Super Seven stuff, like, kind of rando stuff for a while. A Masterverse figure, I think, was in there, too, at one point. But this past week, it's been all about Legends. Except for Throwback Thursdays, because it's Throwback Thursdays. But now we have one of my favorite figures in the wave. Iron Heart! Possibly, quite possibly, one of the best female figures of the year. And, of course, one of the best female Marvel Legends figures of the year. Because she's got the double-jointed elbows. They're pinless. They're nice and tight. I gotta tell you, I hope there is a day where every Marvel Legends figure is pinless because they're not loose when they're pinless. It's fantastic. They stand so much easier. I feel like if this thing had freaking high heels, I'd be able to stand her right up. No joke. I'm that confident in this pinless tech. Whatever Hasbro's doing with the pinless tech is freaking working wonders, man. It freaking gangbusters. I love it. But this figure is pretty cool for a character I know nothing or care nothing about. I'm not really into the modern day Marvel comics. I'm more of a 90s guy. I like the 90s Ghost Rider stuff. I like the McFarlane Spider-Man stuff, the Venom stuff, Jim Lee X-Men, stuff like that. That's the era of Marvel I'm most into. That era has to be like super classic, like uh, old school Iron Man, old school Captain America, old school Thor stuff like that but to be honest with you for a newer character i think this is one of the better ones we've gotten in recent years this figure is fantastic damn near flawless might i add uh, she does come with a gorgeous unhelmeted head sculpt and some alternate hands with some new blast effect pieces so it's nice to get some new pieces with that one but, uh, yeah, a really nice release. If you're at all into the Iron characters, this is a different one to check out. I think she's really solid. But that brings us to the final figure of the wave, the man himself, the bear man. The were-bear man. It's the hair bear bunch. Or is it Yogi Bear? Hmm. On steroids, maybe? Yes, we have the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure. And, yes, this is my favorite Build-A-Figure of the year so far. Even though I don't like the articulation on it, it's a little bit gaudy, I'll say. When you try to pose it, it gets all kinds of disjointed, which doesn't really bug me. But I could pose the crap out of that Ultron, and he looks dang near flawless. I could pose Ironheart, she's dang near flawless. Same with the modular armor Iron Man. This Ursa Major, if you pose him at the torso and take a picture of him from the side, he's got a big, flat, kind of slab on his back it's very unattractive unappealing and pretty much ruins the aesthetic uh, whereas ultron he's got the same type of joint but it's not nearly as bad it goes up into his torso which is something they need to start implementing on some of these bigger figures these builder figures with their torso articulation heck they even do it on the hulk figures even though they can't rotate at that joint like ursa major can the lower torsos go up into the upper torso. And while it doesn't give you as much range, I will admit that, it looks a lot better when you pose it. It looks a lot more natural, it's a little bit cleaner, the aesthetic isn't ruined by it. And you know, maybe they couldn't make that work for this figure, but I hope in the future, any other figure that has that type of joint, it's a little bit better looking than that. My only other gripe with that figure is the paws. The paws, when you hinge them, he's got these big tumors on his palms. So that's not the best either. Other than that, it's fine. It's serviceable. It's a little loose in places, but that could just be mine. You know, my dumb luck strikes again, of course. But yeah, I gotta say, 
a really solid wave of Marvel Legends. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my... The Zemnu wave was fun. I really like the diversity in characters with that one, but as far as like a themed wave goes, like this is clearly an Iron Man theme. This is a really decent wave. Probably second best wave of the year, mostly because I like a lot of figures in that Zemnu wave, like Dormammu, Red Skull, Lady Deathstrike. Who else is in that wave? The, the uh, Doctor Doom I actually quite like, and the Scientist Supreme as well. So yeah, really solid wave, following up the last wave I reviewed. Uh, don't expect a review of the Eternals wave or the Shang-Chi wave, I'm just going to avoid those like the plague. I am going to try and build Mr. Hyde though, so a disclaimer about that. Maybe a review of Civil Warrior, that figure's kind of cool, but I don't have him yet, so... Uh, and then the Armadillo wave, I don't know on that one, but the uh, AOA Colossus is definitely one I'm going to be checking out. I want to get all those. That's a really decent set. The exception of Legion, I think that character looks ridiculous. Even though that's how he's supposed to look, he just doesn't appeal to me. If somebody else likes it, that's fine. Everyone has a right to their opinion. I just think he looks stupid. So... <laughs> With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. If you're at all into any of the characters from this wave, I definitely recommend you pick him up. Especially that Ultron. He's kind of hard to find, so hopefully you can find him for a relatively reasonable price on the secondary market. Or places like BBTS and Entertainment Earth will have him in stock again at some point in the near to distant future. But with that being said, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more content to the channel. Got plenty coming your way in the next week. Something fun a week from now. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And uh, much, much more. I don't plan on taking another hiatus, although I have been having some major health issues. I've been having trouble eating lately dry heaving stuff so I don't choke on it. I mean, that's not fun, right? I don't know what's causing it. It sucks balls, for those of you who are curious. But hopefully I'll be able to shake that shit soon because, God, I just want to get back to normal. Ah! But as always, you got to show that algorithm who's boss, right? And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this wave, whether you're picking anyone up or not, whether you love this wave, want this wave, or hate this wave. Personally, I see a lot of people liking this wave, just because Marvel Legends has been kind of <laughs> this past year. Compared to last year, where it's like gangbusters this year, it just seems to be kind of eh. There's some decent stuff here and there, yeah, but you kind of wait a while for it. What the heck? But as always, keep the comments civil, because the world sucks enough as it is. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.